What's up everybody, this is John with John Fair Innovations and today I'm going to be teaching you a little math, specifically the calculation of speed. And in order to do this, we need distance and time. Now speed is something that we deal with in an everyday life. Every time you get into your car, for example, you look at your speedometer, you have to abide by the speed rules. These are all measurements of speed. And in order to do this, what we're going to do today is we're going to take our ball here and we're going to measure the distance that I kick it in the amount of time it takes to get there. So we're going to basically work out how fast it is. So let's do it, shall we? Okay, so for in order us to work out our speed, we need two types of measurement. We need distance and we need time. So for our distance, we're going to use meters. So what I've done is I've measured out 15 meters over there to this tree. And for our time, what I'm going to use is seconds. So how long it takes this ball to get to that tree there. So let's do it. Awesome. So now we're going to take our two variables and work out our speed. So we're going to use the fact that the distance between the ball and the tree was 15 meters. We also calculated that the ball was in the air for 1.01 seconds. So now we're going to use these two measurements to work out our speed. And in order to do this, we're going to have to use the formula speed equals distance divided by time, sometimes written as s equals d divided by t. Now every time you're in the real world and you see a speed, it's in this form, distance divided by time. Say for example, you've got 60 kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour actually means distance divided by time. So per in mathematics actually means division. So kilometers per hour actually means kilometers divided by hours, distance divided by time. In this case, we're going to use meters per second, so meters divided by seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out 15 meters and we're going to divide it by 1.01 seconds. And what we end up getting is 14.85 meters per second. So that's how fast the ball was traveling, 14.85 meters per second. So if it kept going for another second, so after two seconds, it would have traveled 29.7 meters and so on and so forth. So that's how speed works. And it's important to note that when you're doing this, you have to do the distance first. You have to do distance divided by time. So in this case, the 15 meters divided by the 1.01 seconds. So hopefully that clarifies what speed is. Hopefully now you can calculate it yourself. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.